The 2022 FIFA World Cup is officially underway and as we predicted, it has already been chock full of surprises. Even before a ball was kicked, Karim Benzema sustained a thigh injury in training and has been ruled out of the World Cup. This makes the tournament the first of its kind where neither of the top two ranked players in the Ballon d'Or will feature at all. Sadio Mane is also out with a knee injury, effectively denting Senegal's hopes and aspirations for the tournament as a whole. After the first 90 minutes were completed, another unwanted record was made. Qatar had become the first host nation to lose an opening match at a World Cup. Not fancied against the Ecuadorians, many expected them to still put up a fight and come away with at least a draw. But it was not to be as they were easily brushed aside in the first half, prompting scores of Qatari fans to leave the stadium at the end of the first 45 minutes. To say that the surprises followed on day two would be an understatement. The game between Iran and England delivered more talking points than we could have imagined. The match itself was a mere formality as England trounced their opponents by a whopping six goals to two. But perhaps what was a little curious was that Harry Kane did not get on the score sheet. But what caught our attention was the mood of the stadium when the Iranian anthem was being sung. Boos and jeers could be heard all over and no, those were not by the English fans. Iran's fans were seen booing their own anthem and the players were visibly in agreement. In spite of how special the World Cup might be to them, all 11 of them were silent with none of them uttering a single line of their famous anthem. Their refusal to sing the anthem follows a stunt they pulled in late September when they wore jackets to cover up their country's symbols before a friendly with Senegal. As it stands, the entire nation and their players are not letting up on their anti-government protest on football's biggest stage. Many shouts of Say Her Name, Masa Amini were heard in the stands as a sea of banners were hoisted up with the inscriptions Woman, Life and Freedom. Ever since the 22-year-old Masa Amini died in police custody, Iran has been thrown into months of public unrest and demonstrations. Many believe that the moral laws for dressing have been outdated for a long time and the regime's continual enforcement of these laws constitutes a fundamental human rights violation. The three-day detainment of Masa for wearing a headscarf improperly led to her death and has sparked protests on a scale never seen before in the Middle Eastern country. Women have been seen removing and burning their headscarves in public, while many activist groups have been calling on FIFA to expel Iran from the World Cup and replace them with Ukraine. The team's latest silent snub of the anthem has been praised, but their coach, Carlos Creos, is not happy with the fans' fixation on what his players do. He told reporters, whatever they do, whatever they say, they want to kill them. Can you imagine whatever you say or do, you're killed? Let them play the game. To him, all of this has taken a huge toll on the mentality of the squad, as was clearly felt in the drubbing they got at the hands of England. By comparison, in Russia 2018, they drew 1-1 with Portugal and only lost by a goal to nil against Spain. So, for Kairos, the team must be left alone to focus on their football. He added, It's not right to come to this World Cup and ask them to do things that are not their responsibility. They want to bring pride and joy for the people. You don't even imagine behind the scenes what these kids have been living in the last few days just because they want to express themselves as footballers. His captain, however, has been very vocal about the government and continues to support the protests. He said, We have to accept the conditions in our country are not right and our people are not happy. We are here, but it does not mean we should not be their voice or we should not respect them. We doubt that the manager will be happy with his comments, but sooner or later, the results have to get better if they want more opportunities to protest with the fans. For now, they are odds-on favourites to get eliminated from their group. That's all for now guys, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, catch you in the next one, bye bye.